Musa Mseleku, polygamist and businessman, says he is very proud of his family and he has shared the secret source to a healthy and functional polygamous marriage. So, if you are in a polygamous relationship or you are looking to be in a polygamous relationship, listen up. And before we get into it, guys, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss anything that we put out. Okay, let's get into it. So when Utanda and his team first hit our screens a couple of years back, it was like eye-opening for a lot of us because most of us didn't really know that, you know, in a polygamous relationship or a marriage, we didn't know the ins and outs of it, didn't know how it actually worked. Can people actually exist harmoniously in a situation like that? Anyway, Umusa Mseleku and his family brought all that to the forefront. And I think most conversations really started from there. You know, Musa has shared that he began his polygamous journey at only 23 years old. Guys. I think when I was 23, I didn't even really know what was going on. I was still kind of trying to figure out my life. I don't know about you guys, but 23, it's pretty young. But I think back then, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, things were a bit more chilled, more easier. I think now the dynamic um, since then has changed quite a lot. Anyway... Let's get into what Musa said makes a healthy relationship, right? So, you know he's got four wives, right? And u matele, mayeni, makumalo, mangwabe. I quote, Two secrets to having a healthy, functional, polygamous family is to marry right from the start. To marry someone who will support your vision and help you every step of the way. And to be honest as a man of the ho household. Indlovukaze Makele is the best in leading the vision. And Indlugulu Makumalo is the best in supporting the vision. So, Sitinje uma ufuna istembu. Kanwa kase ngase kalin. Musa wrote. So, I think it's interesting that he's mentioning... But he's not saying anything about Very, very interesting. Um, do you think there is something there? Do you think there's a particular reason why he's singling out the two wives and not talking about the other two wives? Anyway, I mean, guys, it's polygamy, right? And even Musa himself, the poster man for polygamous relationships. I mean, he is the guy that men go to. He is the man that guides them, that leads them, that helps them to do all of that. But he himself has admitted that, you know, this lifestyle is not easy. Atiena, when he started out, you know, he wasn't sure he was going to succeed. But now, 20 years later, more than 20 years later, he can stop, he can stand on top of the mountain and say, yes, I did it, I made it. You know, the hardships of polygamy are to maintain the relationships and to prove beyond reasonable doubt that you love this person you are with. Because if that person feels a second, a third or fourth wife is taken because of their shortcomings, you will never have a peaceful life. And if those who are coming think they are coming because you are better than the first wife, you will never have a peaceful home. It is to reach a state where it is natural that they accept each other as sisters. Yo, guys, I kulumile umselego sibuzwile. What I want to know from you guys, do you agree with what he's saying? I mean, the man has years and years of experience running a household like this and do you think 
you could ever be in a polygamous relationship. Like, accept Uguti, nai in Totayam, meaning share, not just with one woman, but with four women or even five women. Because we know there's a time he really was keen on getting a number five, but the wives just wouldn't let him have that. But, I mean, we kind of all know that there is a number five. He has actually said that a number five ukona, just because abavum guti amtate doesn't mean guti ageko. So, very, very interesting. But guys, that is the secret sauce to having a healthy and thriving polygamous relationship. Let me know in the comments below. Until the next time, cheerio.